Slowly, as the data is compiled by the boffins at the Office of National Statistics, what we already know is becoming alarmingly clear, namely that Britain's finances are in a shocking state. Borrowings at its highest since records began, a touch below £800 billion, the equivalent of 57% of all of Britain's annual output. Not only is the amount the Chancellor's borrowing huge, but the amount he's pulling in from the taxpayer is actually shrinking and fast. Following Alistair Darling's cut in VAT, the tax take has fallen at its sharpest rate since the 1920s, down by £32 billion. And of course, Darling's borrowing more because he's spending more. The amount the government forked out for social benefits rose by nearly 10% in June to more than £13 billion. And it doesn't take a genius to realise that if you're borrowing more money and spending more money and earning less, your bank balance is not going to look good. And things are only going to get worse as well. The cost of part nationalising Lloyds Banking Group and Royal Bank of Scotland has still not been factored into these figures. So how can the government get out of this miserable situation? Well, only by spending less and earning more. And that means a cut in government spending and for the general public, you and me, tax rises. In the good times, money was cheap. We all borrowed many more than they should have. And now, after the crash, it's time to pay it all back again.